Can you hear me, good sir? How are you, Steven? Dude, Usman's talking to me. Oh my god, this is amazing. Dude, I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for coming on the stream. Guys, fire it up with some W's, baby. It's the man himself. He's here in person. Can I ask you just to give a little bit of your background for anyone that doesn't know? Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. I'm the community manager at NBA Top Shot. I oversee the Discord community. I help out on Twitter. But if you want to know more beyond that, just let me know. Hit me with those uh, those cues. Talk about my uh, my personals, what I'm into, uh, favorite uh, type of quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're great. You're absolutely great. I got to ask, just because we're asking about your background and everything. When you were growing up, I mean, for me, I was like, ah, I want to be a firefighter. For you, did you have any kind of like passions? Were you wanting to be a professional athlete? Did you think, hey, being like a chef or something would be super cool? Do you have anything around those? It, it varied from uh, month to month. You know, there was one month that I wanted to be an engineer for some reason. Uh, <laughs> an, engineer, an actual engineer because my dad is an engineer or he retired as an engineer. So uh, at one point I wanted to be a basketball player, then um, professional baseball player. You know, I always do the little batting stance, uh, envisioning myself playing for the Dodgers, uh, ninth inning, World Series game seven, uh, hitting that last home run. And now I have uh, my more realistic expectations sitting behind a laptop. So can I find out a little bit more about you of how you ended up working for Top Shot? Were you in kind of like a major company beforehand? What was that process where, you know, you got hired at one of, one of the smallest things at the time that grew to this massive project? I used to work for a company called Branch Metrics. Um, it's a unicorn. Uh, I, I worked there for a year as a product development specialist. I ended up shifting towards Dapper Labs during the pandemic. The, the way that happened was um, I, I learned about something called Garbage Bell Kids. Uh, I, I heard about it in the past, but, you know, the digital version and something called an NFT, uh, they sent me an email to um, just uh, partake in, in the first day and buy some packs. So I did that, uh, met some cool, some, some cool people in the space, and they let me know about another project called NBA Top Shot. And so I completely geeked out over it. Uh, was part of that initial beta testing group, and there was no uh, formal community manager at the time. So based on my sports knowledge and maybe a little bit of tech savviness, uh, admittedly, they uh, felt I was a good fit. You know, I was just helping to field questions, uh, give an assist where it was needed, and uh, the rest is kind of history. Do you play any mobile games? Like, is that something that you're into? Because I feel like there's ones that I've I've done or, like, tried, and I'm like, okay, I get the concept. It doesn't really click. And then other ones, I'm like, this is super addicting, like Pokemon Go or something. Yeah, exactly that, Pokemon Go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> wait, do you, yes, wait, do you play? Do you play? I, I do play. Yo, yeah. we got to yo, we gotta add Usman, guys. We got to gift Usman every single day. This is going to be absolute fire. <laughs> so right, to uh, jump back to some NBA Top Shot talk, um, and we're going to kind of go in and out between kind of the different questions. Uh, when did you realize personally that Top Shot was like this next big thing? What was like the, wow, okay, I am now having to work like 80 hours a week or something like that. What was the catalyst to really uh, catapult Top Shot in your opinion? I always felt it would be something major. Um, it's the reason why I kind of went all in and collecting your favorite highlights. That's never been done before. Uh, the fact that you own these assets is also amazing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of utility. The fact that you can earn rewards just for uh, completing sets, uh, building showcases, the whole social experience surrounding it. Um, the interface was super friendly. The team was super responsive. All these things just kind of uh, combined to create what I knew would, would take off in due time. When we boomed, I believe it was sometime in January or early February. And, and do you know like what the catalyst was for that? Because I know we had the Ty or you guys had the Tyler Hero partnership with different content creators started picking it up. With there's like not necessarily like a single event, but what do you think were some of the reasons why it really kind of took off at light speed? Uh, I believe it was Jonathan Bales and his friends. They wrote about uh, going in on a John Morant uh, cosmic moment. And that article uh, surfaced on their account. They they had a decent amount of followers, and um, it kind of caught fire. And people started wondering what this, this whole facade was, wondering um, what an NFT was, what Top Shot is. So my next question doesn't have to be Top Shot related at all. But what's something that you're most proud of? What's something that I'm most proud of? Uh, getting you on as a referee. 
<laughs> okay, so I was going to ask about that. Do you remember when we had that call one to one? Do you remember all that kind of stuff? Did you have any first impressions of me? Yeah, I thought you were super cool. I mean, you were just so full of life and energy. Uh, when we had that initial talk, I was like, this guy is going to be amazing. And uh, you definitely exceeded expectations. You just fit the role so perfectly. And it's just been a true pleasure to call you a friend ever since and bring you on board. Well, I appreciate that. We're sitting here interviewing Usman, and now it's turning the other way around. Dude, I, I really appreciate you saying that in all honesty. So with, with the NFTs, is there any other ones that you're kind of dabbling in, or is Top Shop pretty much like your main focus? And I mean, just from kind of like a hobby standpoint. So Chain Monsters is one that I've been looking at. I have I, I was part of the Kickstarter project. Zed Run is a project I uh, explored early on. The team is great, and um, that's that's another really cool project that – uh, I tinkered with in the past and I'm glad, you know, starting to pick up steam. Yeah. Has anybody on the development team made you a personal moment that we, we can't see, but like the, the real deal, like something where it would kind of turn like the cube. Cause I've seen before we've had some fan made things, but have you gotten anything kind of cool from like the official team in that regard? It, ha have they made me a personal moment? Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm saying, listen, you got the insiders. We were talking about like the WWE NFT drops and it's like, oh yeah, man, it would be cool to have like a wrestling belt. And, and I think a lot of people would think that it'd be really cool to have like a top shot moment themselves. Have they ever kind of shown you what that would look like or, you know, could they do that? Um, I don't think so in an official capacity uh maybe as fan art dude you gotta but... get him on it that would be so awesome i feel like half the people would go to the marketplace and buy that over the lebron james and everything else that they're buying i highly doubt that i uh, we've had a couple people that have asked and i i want to assume that this probably not happened but maybe it has they're saying since michael jordan and we've had some of these other big names uh say that they're investing have you had any interactions with some of these uh nba players is it just kind of like the email here or there or have you ever kind of got to spoke to them one-on-one -on -one? i mean i've spoken to a few players but can't quite disclose no for sure that. for sure and so you brought up the zed run a little a little bit earlier are do you, do you own a horse mr usman or do you think that you will one day I own three horses. I own Wait, three. really? Oh my god! I did. I did. I did. Z two. I had two Z two Nakamotos, um, and I had the baby that came out of it. I, I believe its name was Fancy, but unfortunately, I lost that wallet a long time ago. Wait, really? What happened? Yeah. Oh my god! I just lost. I lost the seed phrase. Uh, I don't know uh, any potential way to get it back. So, so that's the thing. Listen, we got we, guys. We got to hook Usman up, y'all. I, 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 I listen. We got to connect afterwards. I got one that I just bred. It's all yours, baby. We'll get it. We'll get it set up. So, Usman, I just want to kind of like open the floor here. Do you have any last thoughts uh, regarding Top Shot and everything? Where, where are you excited to see where this goes? And you know, a couple months, a year from now, when we look back at here, wh what are we gonna kind of be saying? Right now, the, the the main focus is withdrawal access, stopping multi accounts, bots and improving the the process of site stability along with getting people packs so i would say those are all critical issues we're working on before we kind of uh touch all the exciting possibilities we're, we're basically just um focusing on immediate issues and in a year from now i imagine sky's the limit you know once we can kind of uh get our heads a little bit more above water and uh have a well oil machine uh, not only tending to support requests, but everything else that's going on and enhancing the, the collector experience times 100. Usman, can I get a W from you right now, baby? Like, I, want, I want to see those hands on the screen. I got one shot at this. I get one I, shot I, to get I Usman. Don't wanna, you're going to make me do the west side side. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> All right, no W's from Usman right now, but guys, light it up. Usman, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Steven. It's always, it's always a pleasure. Have a great one. And take care, all. See you around. All right, guys. Yo, we got we got the man. We got the myth. We got the legend. <laughs>
you know, only have love for absolutely everyone here and will continue to, and I will stick around the community, uh, admittedly, not a CM, but uh, just being here and sorry if I'm getting choked up, but <laughs> uh, it feels surreal to, to even talk about it. I truly, truly love you all and I'm gonna miss you. And, you know, maybe there is that time frame where I do come back in that case, um, it'll be hello again. But for now, I just want to say goodbye. And um, that's that. And yeah, with that, uh, you know, quite the mic drop. Uh, we will see you back here on uh, Tuesday uh, for the next office hours. You know, excited for him to get some much deserved time away being able to kind of exhale so to speak and get himself in uh, you know a, a better place so we are couldn't be more thankful appreciate you again uh, appreciate seeing my girlfriend here once again thank you for the support and thank you for support of the community Luke. Uh, all the referees all the community members again uh, have a wonderful friday have a wonderful weekend and see you around. Take care. Holy shit, okay. I mean, like, part of the whole reason that I'm like here right now doing this is because of him. And it's just like, it's so surreal. <laughs> So, like I'm one of the referees and like way back in the day he uh we had to send like just a resume or whatever kind of it was it wasn't like a full resume it was just you know some info and whatnot and he was like no like I think you have like a killer background I really want you to be a part of the team and everything and it was just I don't know talking with him it was just cool and then I was like you know what I really want to do more with this because I know, he's just a really motivational individual in a way, like, he's always happy with stuff, it's just, I don't know. I just hope, I hope he's fine, like, obviously this is good, I know that he gets, like, a lot of aid over stuff, and it's just, I don't know. Holy man.